think this guy is going to deny Aegis. I think that would... Hello! Hello, friends! Welcome to this Herald Review. I'm at Suns Fan's house. That's why this... That's why it looks like this. Um, I have a two-hour Herald. There's some guys in this game, not spoiling, with over 60 kills. There's some... Ridiculous builds that I've never seen before in the inventories. Once again, not spoiling. Um, this one looks fucking wild. 200 kills. Let's get into it. I see. Three Sages Mask Witch Doctor. He really wants that mana regen. That's pretty fucking cool. I respect it. So now we get to figure out where these heroes are going. They don't seem to be that sure themselves. There's a Crystal Maiden and a Nyx both mid. Ogre's in the jungle with Ignite. No items. And Nature's just running towards top. Ogre just bought something. What was it? Oh, it's an entire inventory. This is going to be a giant wave if he gets the next one as well. Hey, he's gonna get the... Yeah, this is a, this is a huge wave. That is one way to throw a lane. That is definitely one way to do it. <laughs> Why, dude? This is so complicated. Why do this to yourself, bro? Why? Dude, this is the biggest creep wave. Oh my god, that's why. So he can fucking overwhelming odds it. You're kidding. If he leveled it up, that would have one shot Am. But he's got level one in it. Or he had level one in it. Oh my god, dude. That's like simultaneously next and previous level. I mean, good god. It, it is working. They're getting the tower. He's top CS on his team. Uh, no, dude. Oh, he walked back into it. Oh, he blinked in. All right. Oh, he's going Echo Saber next, dude. I respect this build a lot. That's fucking cool. This dude is totally out of mana. Is he about to kill the mid laner? If, if there's any help. Hmm. He's... I really can't tell if he... Okay, I can't believe that worked. He's not getting any assistance, and he's actually just solo killing the mid laner. Uh, he should be killed now, yeah. Because he used that. Come on, they should be able to kill the CM here, right? Surely. He presses Fire Blast, yep. Spearbreaker TP'd out, so should be a free CM. This guy's level 5, man. I don't think he does much. I think he dies as well. Uh, yeah. Oh, will it connect? It will not connect. Holy fucking shit, dude. He did it before, he's gonna try to do it again. He's fully out of mana. He's charged, and there's a Legion there waiting for his duel. He might let his... No, he's not gonna let his mid laner die unless the blink comes in. The blink dodge on the duel, he's actually gonna get... Oh my god, that was fucking Giga Chad, bro. That was absolutely Giga Chad behavior. I mean, he's dead, almost certainly, right? Unless somebody fucks up. He's just solo killing the mid laner, though. Okay, here's the, here's the charge on the OD. I do believe he's going to follow it through because he's not a little bitch. Duel should come out onto the OD. Anti-Mage is in. This dude's completely out of mana. Witch Doctor doing quite a lot of damage to the Legion Commander. He's going to blink in on the Spirit Breaker, who's still Maledicted. So the Maledict is going to kill him eventually. Blade Mill comes out from level 6 Spectre. And that's a double kill for the Anti-Mage. Three heroes dead. Where's Nyx Assassin? He's mid. YouTube, we have to talk about you not being sub. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that sub button, just like that anti-mage is hitting this crystal maiden. Take him out on the killing spree. This guy's actually so fucking farmed from getting all these kills. He's 7 and 4. Is 
Is this really gonna work? This really worked. He thought he was gonna TP out in that sprout. Indeed, he did not. He just stood there. Okay. Just take a, take a second and look at the minimap. Like, you're this Crystal Maiden. You're the slowest, weakest hero in fucking Dota. And he goes on the level 11 OD. This man needs to be tested. There, he is missing... He is missing the fear part of his brain. They see him. They see him there. And Ogre is going to run in and die anyway. As a blade mail. Very nice. Odie just doesn't care. He's dead. Yep. Yeah, I want to see his player perspective for that. I just... Bro, I legitimately thought that he was a radiant hero because of where he's standing. He's just on his own in the Radiant Jungle. Oh my god. Okay, there's the charge coming out. This is actually a strong hero. So this is AM dueling the Legion, by the way. He's going to use the Imprison on the Legion Commander. AM should be able to blink out if he wants to. He blinks to the low ground. A very small blink. He's going to turn and hit the Legion's Blade Mail off of the small blink. So it's Odie and Ogre versus Legion and Spirit Breaker. Odie's always at fucking 20% HP for some reason. This is a full team fight, only missing the Crystal Maiden who started the fight dead. Triple kill for the Legion Commander. He's going to man fight the Ogre, and he will successfully do so. Spectre versus Nature Prophet on the other side of things. He's going to use the Sprout, block himself with the trees. This is a very confusing scenario for everyone, but he's going to end up dying. Duel comes out. That's another duel in the same fight because he has an Agative Scepter. He has 164 duel damage at 21 minutes into the game. That's gotta be fucking wrong, right? That's so much. It's it's because he has the Aghanim Shard already. Dude, that is so much dual damage for 21 minutes. That's like half a rapier. What on earth? How do you fight this guy? This is Anti-Mage's third wisdom run of the game, by the way. I like how instead of farming these Ancients, Anti-Mage goes over here and steals the ones from OD. And then OD is just like, alright dude, I guess I'll go farm these ones. That's the most classic, like, greedy, carry, like, possessive, like, I need to have what you have sort of mentality. It's not about the farm, it's about your team not farming. That's what matters. Ah, Witch Doctor has his full Aghanim Scepter and he's going for Shadow Blade. That is not a surprise. Not it, not one bit. And Legion has an Aether Lens, by the way. It's a Aghanim Scepter Aether Lens build. So he's got that extended range on Duel. These are some of the most interesting builds I've seen in Herald. Okay, Legion is waiting for a guy to show up here. And he's going to force staff himself in with the Aether Lens. It's a free Duel, even into the tower. And that's going to be 220 damage on the Legion at 23 minutes. Very reasonable stuff going on here. That's good. What the fuck? He's in the base on Legion. I kill, but he might be completely fine, I guess. Spear Breaker also diving. Anti-Mage going for the CM. That's the easy kill. Spectre diving in on the Witch. Anti-Mage takes out the CM. Spectre, I think, kill the Witch. No, he's perfectly fine. Boulder, can you cut my voice crack out of uh, that last kind of section there? Just cut the voice crack out. Thank you. Okay, now I'm confused about this Legion's inventory. If he's got a blink... Oh my god, the duel onto the low ground. Why? He thinks he's so cool for doing that. It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Dude, it'd be such a creamer to bet on Herald Reviews. Holy fuck, dude. I squirt so goddamn hard. Squirt cream all over these Heralds. Anyway, Boulder cut that part. It's really weird to say stuff like that. Yeah, they see Legion, by the way. The Ancient gives a lot of vision, so... They also have a Sentry Ward right there, by the way. Spectre's gonna go in on the Nature's Prophet. Oh, no. Oh, this poor NP. I, You know that he's gonna go for it, for some fucking reason. So, Odie banishes himself on the Mirror Shield of the Legion. It's a very good item for him to pick up, considering what he's doing. There's a Sentry Ward... Dropped ogres like he's gotta be here, dude. He went invisible. That's mega creeps 
Nyx Assassin, by the way, that whole time was getting Mega Creeps. So I was adequately distracted. He picked up the Stygian Desolator. So that way he can get the Mega. So he successfully does so. Bro, he's got a Smoke of Deceit on Anti-Mage. What is he cooking? Uh that that is gameplay. That is definitely some gameplay. Um I think he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. N not the best Hail Mary that I've ever seen, but it was definitely a Hail Mary, so... That was a crit! Oh my god! Okay, well that's what- <laughs> That's what he gets, dude. That's what he gets. After his previous attempts, he's gonna play it safe, it looks like. Oh, never mind. He's going to go for the Anti-Mage. I don't think that's going to work out so well for you. All right, let's see how much the Anti-Mage can get bashed here. Not enough. And I don't know who that ult was on, but Witch Doctor is going to pop his ult, which gets canceled because of the Spiked Carapace. Spirit Breaker. Oh, there's the duel. He's going to duel the Nature's Prophet, but he might be getting himself killed. It's a 1v1 between the OD and the Legion Commander, who's going to Shadow Blade away. And they have no detection, of course, so he's fine. Ah, Crystal Maiden. Great timing to go in when half your team is dead. Yep, let's go. Crystal Clone, very nice. Oh no, they're being hunted. Oh no. Oh, the Nyx Assassin. Crystal Maiden, Nyx Assassin versus Anti-Mage Ogre. Who wins this? I think these are the two weakest heroes, actually, on the Dire. Yeah, so... This will go in favor of the Radiant. Uh, never mind. I vastly underestimated Crystal Maiden. Holy fuck. She's powerful. Maybe not powerful enough to defeat the Ogre, though. Uh, nope. He's bashing her with 17% Fire Blast on attack. 24,000 gold on the Legion. Genuinely, the entire gold lead is just in this guy's inventory. But not in items, of course. So they actually have creeps this time. That's a fortify use. They will have another one. Because they killed the tier 3. And they use it. So they could go throne right now. Like genuinely they could go throne if they wanted to. Uh... Is this... They have 17 seconds. No legion. It's like a little slow. Oh, the charge. The charge. They're going to go for it. There's no fortify. Anti-Mage is going for the throne. He's going for the throne. Well, the back line is being killed by the SP. He's going for the buyback of the Legion with like one second left. He knows he's got to go for the duel. He does get the duel. He kills him in two hits. That's a throne fully exposed. As the Spirit Breaker actually kills the OD. Wow, that was the most... Dude, that was a very close to fuck up on the buyback from the Legion. He really wanted to save it. I respect this play from the OD, by the way. I respect this a lot. Like, that he tried to get out of base and do something like this. I think this is cool. It's just... Actually, if his Aghanim Scepter procs... Okay, he's very unlucky because he was low mana when it procs, so it didn't give him a huge shield. He's trying to right-click it. Oh, that was close. That was close. He does not have buyback. That could be really bad. Ah, uh, come on. You can go back. Yeah, this is good. You can go back now. You got this. You got this, buddy. I don't think this guy is going to deny Aegis. I think that would... Okay. Okay. Yeah, couldn't have predicted that one. That is... Alright. What's going on in the base? <laughs> God, dude. Okay. And there's the blink in. He's going straight for the nature's profit. Why, dude? What did he do to you? He's gonna die. That's two minutes dead. 
That's two minutes? Nature's Prophet finally realizes he has a global TP, so he TPs in. They're gonna go for the throne. So is the Spectre, though. Backdoor protection is off. He's not doing that much damage. Ogre also has Crimson Guard if he wants to use it. Spirit Breaker charges in. OD. He's gonna fight people while Anti-Mage goes for the throne. Nyx Assassin is fighting with the Anti-Mage unsuccessfully. AM's gonna go straight for the throne. Buyback on the Legion Commander. Just came off cooldown. He blinks in. Use the Yules on the Anti-Mage illusion. Spirit Breaker's in. He's fighting the Nature's Prophet. Easy GG, says the Crystal Maiden. I don't know why he said that. Suka. The game is not over. Spectre tried to end the game. Not successful. Doesn't do very much building damage. Is this like the next level play? He... He picks it up. Wait. I've, I don't think I've ever seen this. Roshan's gonna... Roshan might respawn in 3 minutes 30, but he has it for 5 minutes. Does it just disappear when Roche respawns? There's the third Rapier from the Spectre. So this is one way to get out of the game. If he feeds Rapiers, and then the throne play can happen from the enemy side. But he got the Rapiers, and he's not, he's not like, immediately feeding them away. He's like, this is the only way I can have as much damage as the LC. LC's gonna go in, duel the Nature's Prophet, wants 2,000 dual damage, will almost secure it. And Radiant is gonna go down mid. Okay, Legion goes back. He's gonna look for a duel on the OD. He does succeed. And that's gonna be the Witch Doctor ulti with the Shadow Blade. So actually tearing through the Spectre decently well. Uh, because of course he only has rapiers. Do they have TP? Legion's gonna go for the TP on the enemy side. Anti-Mage is going for the throne. Does Spectre have ult? He does not have ult. I don't know if it would matter if he does. They use the fortification. There's buyback on two heroes, but they have 10 seconds left. He's going to buy back on the Nyx Assassin with 10 seconds left. The Fortification comes out. That means Ford is down. And they force the Nyx buyback. Anti-Mage is going to blink in on the Nyx Assassin. But I don't think he meant to do that. He's right on the Nyx Assassin. Spectre haunts in. As Rapier. Anti-Mage potentially killing the Spectre. No, he doesn't. What was the lifesteal from? There was a lot of lifesteal. That's a Satanic. Okay. Anti-Mage actually buys back. He TPs to the enemy throne. He's going to go for the throne play. He turns on the Nyx Assassin. He might just be feeding away here. If he feeding... He's probably trying to be hit. There's no backdoor protection. There's a creep in the base. It's this single fucking creep. He's going to go for it. OD buys back. Anti-Mage is playing Ring Around the Rosie. Witch Doctor is actually TPing in. He's TPing. He's trying to go for the throne. What is the Spectre doing? The duel comes out. They're actually going to defend the throne. OD. Where is he? Where is he? He wants to go for it. Dude, Nature's Prophet, bro! You have a global TP! He's gonna go for it, but backdrop protection is on! He's going for it! Can they do it? Can they get the throne? Oh, they do it through backdoor. And the charge finally comes out. I didn't even know that hero's fucking alive still. My god. Why do this to yourself, man?